Yeah, you should have seen the looks on a lot of these people's faces when I told them what was happening. I mean, this is going to impact a lot of people. You can see cars whizzing by on Interstate 49 from the Northwest Arkansas Community College parking lot. Students commute to this school from all over Northwest Arkansas, and some expect this ramp closure could add another half hour to their morning commutes. Probably have to wake up even earlier now, which is not going to be fun, especially, you know, since I have class at 9 o'clock, so I had to kind of wake up early. And there's already traffic in the morning, so it's just got to delay the, delay the morning routine and route even longer. The ramps close this Friday night at 9 p.m. and it'll stay closed for about three months. In the meantime, drivers are encouraged to start looking for new routes. Exit 88 is to the north, exit 85 is to the south, so there are plenty of ways to get around. Now the detours will be marked. The crews are out there right now putting the signs out, marking the detours. We've published a map to show the public exactly where those detours are. Another warning from the Department of Transportation, slow down in construction zones. Those fines rise if you're caught speeding in work zones. Live in Bentonville tonight, I'm Christopher Redfern, 4029 News. All right, Christopher, and a spokesperson with RDOT says that the work ties into a project to improve access to 8th Street via Highway 62 and 102. And now we know some of you may want to take a second look at the closures and detours. Chief Meteorologist Darby Biden breaks it down for you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we want to help explain what this really means for Rogers and Bentonville residents. Now, let's go ahead and take a look here at the map. In a nutshell, uh, you just won't be able to get on I-49 northbound near Northwest Arkansas Community College. You won't be able to do this right here. You won't also be able to get off of I-49 here either if you're coming southbound on the interstate. This is all at exit 86. This means a lot of us are going to need to find an alternate route starting Friday night. Now, if you're trying to go north on I-49 at exit 86, you'll either need to take the interstate south all the way down to exit 85, or you're going to need to figure out a different route to get there to get to that spot and then turn around north and go or turn around at exit 85 and go north from there, which is just a mile down the road. Um, of course, if you are coming south on I-49, you'll either need to get off at exit 86, which takes you into downtown Bentonville or drive on down to exit 85. All of this information is on 4029tv.com if you want a closer look.